James worked at a factory. James had knees. They made shoes at this factory. They made some of the best shoes money could buy. James couldn't afford these shoes. This boy had been only working there for two weeks. But he had a job. He liked to spend his time in the woods. Before his dad died, he taught him how to fish. He taught him how to walk into the woods with his bare hands and create some mechanism to catch a fish or two. Every weekend, James and his friend Tim would go to the woods. They would try to go further and further every week to find new ponds to fish in. On occasion, Tim would bring a stereo. He liked to listen to reggae music and smoke spliffs. These are these weird marijuana cigarettes. James didn't care for the marijuana, but he did enjoy a bit of the reggae music. So they would go on their journey, playing their tapes, listening to their music, and smoking up the area. One day on their return home, they came across a fire. This was no campfire. It was a huge fire. It was a building that they've never seen before. So they stopped to investigate. Something strange though. There seemed to be no smoke coming out of the fire. No smoke coming out of the top of the structure. Also, this fire seemed to be making no noises. This made the hair on their necks stand up. Tim, still smoking his cigarette, turns off the stereo. He could hear a faint noise coming from the fire. Sounds like, it sounds like, it sounds like a, a voice, a familiar voice. Tim has a young sister named Barbara. It sounded like Barbara. Tim started edging towards the fire. Barbara! James began to become a bit concerned as Tim seemed to be in a trance. Barbara! Tim starts edging closer and closer to the flames, quicker and quicker. James, in some effort to calm him down, screams, Tim, what are you doing? And follows Tim closer to the fire. As the boys got closer to the fire, they realized there was no heat coming off of the flames. The closer they got, the cooler the air seemed to be getting. Barbara! The voice whispered slowly, indistinct, indistinguishable from breathing. Barbara? Tim reaches his hand out. And as his finger is getting inches closer to the flames, it suddenly disappears. Tim spins around and James is gone. James? Tim? Tim spins back around. And there stands Barbara, his sister. But there's something different about her. Her eyes are filled with juice. <laughs> 